I'm at a loss for words right now. It's nearly midnight over here in the UK and WWE has just decided to release so much more talent. I hate making these videos. I've already done like three in the last year and they're just, they're not fun videos to make. People are losing their jobs and there has been a lot of releases, especially in this batch of releases that is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I've got the names wrote down here on my computer. Uh, just bear with me whilst it loads up. Right here, guys, are you ready? There's a lot of names that I don't know, but there is a few in here that are just crazy, and they are still coming in. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select is reporting them all on Twitter. This I may even reshoot this video. I've already shot this video once. This is the second shoot because more names have been released since I first shot this video. But if I try and get this one uploaded, I will add in the description and the comments any more releases after upload. But anyway, uh, excuse me for any mispronunciation, mispronunciation on these names. I'm uh, one, very tired. Two, don't really know who these people are. First up, Jesse Camilla and Zayda, uh, Zayda Ramira. Uh, Jeet Rama, Trey Baxter, Katrina Cortez, Oni Lorcan, Frankie Monet, Ember Moon, Eva Marie, Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metalik, all of Lucha House Party, B Fab of Hit Row, who's only just been drafted to SmackDown, Scarlet Bordeaux, Carrion Cross, Nia Jax, David Hart Smith or Harry Smith, Mia Yim, and the big one, other than Karrion Cross, Keith Bearcat Lee has been released by WWE. All of this talent just gone. And I don't know why. I have no idea why. None. WWE are more profitable now than they have ever been. So why cut this much talent? Is it because you just don't know what to do with them? What ramifications is this going to have for the future? One of this talent who just randomly get a phone call saying, yeah, by the way, you know, best of luck in your future endeavours. And two, like, you know, you've got to think of other things. WWE TV, any programming, any... Uh, I mean, most of these people aren't actually in storylines, but you've got to think B-Fab of Hit Row. She's been on TV with Hit Row the last couple of weeks. Is she just going to disappear and they're not going to say anything? Keith Lee, another one. Is he just going to disappear and not say anything? He's had matches on Raw. What ramifications does this have for WWE 2K22? Are more superstars going to get cut? Or is it too late in the process at this point that most of these guys are going to make it in? I don't know. But once again, if there's any more releases, I will let you know in the description and in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Thoughts Racing. This has been a really sad day for any WWE fan. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated. But I'm at a bit of a loss for words here because I'm just... I'm so shocked by all of this. It's crazy. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on the releases in the comments section down below. Goodbye. Quickly, before I end the video, Sean Rossap has revealed that John Laurinaitis has told Talent in an email that these releases are once again due to budget cuts. Ridiculous.